Hello. This summer and into the autumn, Bethlehem Museum of the Mind has been highlighting the work of four artists in a series we're calling Art, Mind and Soul, artists whose work feature in our collections uh, and who deserve to be better known than they are. The first two artists were Brian Charnley and Elise Warriner Paquette. And the third artist we're featuring in the series is Charlotte Johnson Wall, whose work is featured in this beautifully produced catalogue entitled Minding Too Much. Here at the museum, we have this catalogue for sale for $22.95, inclusive of UK postage. There's a link at the bottom of the screen for online orders. To a greater or lesser extent, the children of Charlotte Johnson Wall are extremely well known within British public life, uh, and none more so at the present time than Boris Johnson. However, to regard Charlotte Johnson Wall's work as of value principally for what it might tell us about her family would be to, to do a serious injustice to her talents as an artist, as well as to feed a kind of prurient interest that we have no wish to promote. In Minding Too Much, Boris himself simply writes that he grew up with the absolute certainty that his mother was a great artist. And it's, this is precisely how we view her here at Bethlehem Museum of the Mind. Charlotte Johnson Wall's artwork is within the museum's collection because of a six month period of residence at our sister hospital, the Maudsley, in the 1970s, about which she's always been completely open, as a period of time which formed a kind of crucible for her work. Indeed, the founder of this museum and my former colleague, Patricia Aldridge, knew Charlotte well and collaborated with her in curating an exhibition of her work at the Maudsley Hospital in 1974. To my mind, the courage with which Johnson Wall confronted and represented the deep distress she felt at that time makes her a kind of every woman to whom anyone with experience of mental distress may hope to relate, at least at some level. The painting that I'm standing next to, which is on temporary loan from a private collection, references the understandable and deeply felt concern she had for her duration of her stay at the Maudsley, for the welfare of the young family from which she was unavoidably separated. Every time they came to visit her at the hospital, their eventual departure was harrowing for visitors and visited alike. In this painting, the artist imagines herself uh, up a tree, having climbed a tree in order to delay the inevitable moment of parting. Her uncomprehending family uh, are depicted attempting to coax her down, while at the same time the Maudsley staff are shown walking off, having given up any attempt to assist. The words attributed to them form the picture's title, shake her down, Talk to her, oh, just leave her. This is pr precisely what her family are not prepared to do. They may be uncomprehending, but they have not ceased caring. I hope you can see that this picture is not about the Johnson family as such, or to put the, more, the point more precisely, to the extent that it is about that family, it's none of our business to pry into. Yet, insofar as it is a reflection of the experience of every family in times of distress, as Charlotte Johnson Wall has made it by placing it on this canvas, it is of concern to us, for we are human, and nothing human is alien to us. This picture has been loaned to us to support a temporary exhibition uh, entitled The Four Ages of Woman. And it's time for me to admit the obvious point that I only have second-hand access to the maternal instincts that drove Johnson Wall's distress at separation from her children. Yet I can imagine that this picture was one that Nell Butler, the editor of Minding Too Much, had in mind in writing these words back in 2015, which you can find in the catalogue. For the past three years, I've immersed myself in Charlotte's work and it has changed me. I've thought hard about frailty and illness. 
I've looked afresh at marriage, motherhood and madness. I've come closer to my own life and to my own feelings and closer to the things that make me happy. What's being described here is a kind of art-inspired epiphany, a transforming encounter of a kind we could all use in the wake of the recent coronavirus shutdown. I hope you'll consider using the link at the bottom of the screen to invest £22.95 into this endeavour. The marketing spiel on the back cover of Minding Too Much has it just about right in saying that if you want to feel better and worse about the world in equal measure, then dive into this visual maelstrom. Well, that's it for now, but stay tuned to the museum's YouTube and channel and social media because we have more to say about and to present to you about the work of Charlotte Johnson Wall.